Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your April, your mid-April uh, 2019 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thank you to those who have already done so. Um, thank you to those who just keep coming back. Let's go ahead and get started. So Virgo, it's, it's like I'm picking up the energy for two different two sets of Virgos. Um, so some of you are in third party situations. Some of you want out of a connection you're already in. Maybe to go to somebody else or just to be free um, and have options. Then there's another set of you who are, who are anticipating um, maybe a proposal, an offer. You know, taking the relationship to the next step from um, a partner you're with. Let's see. Let's see what, where the cards have the Virgo. So it looks like there's a set of Virgos out there who are, they're having an immense change within their romantic relationship, career, or finance. Um, something, there's interference in a established situation. This could be on the job, this could be in love. There's a Virgo who has, who feels like there's a lack of confidence of things moving forward they feel like uh, there's lack here there isn't enough to push forward there's so much change here the fives that it's hard to move forward maybe because there is something or someone hidden here with the high priestess and the six of wands someone who you'd rather be giving your attention to this would be a Pisces, Aquarius. Um, yeah. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Some of you tried to make it work or are trying to make it work with uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. But all in all, you want to be single. Well, this person is acting single. Some of you, it's a question of should you go into business for yourself? Yeah. The idea is here. It's starting small, but it could take you to a really good place um, financially. Some of you dealing with a Libra. Some of you, you feel like this person is so indecisive, immaturity in regards to making decisions. They're of two minds, or you are. Right on. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Let's see what's going on for my birthday. Something came back up from the past in some of you's relationship or career and finance. Something you thought you got over. Ten of Wands. Six of Wands again. King of Swords. Three of Pentacles. You definitely want the attention of some hidden person. Some person who's doing nothing right now. In regards to taking action, in, re in regards to you or the situation that you guys are in. Some of you want some someone that you're dealing with or have dealt with to lay the past down. 
you want to have you know a new start a new victorious start with this person you want to partner with them you want to begin to build something solid with them i don't think you're in contact ten of swords yeah ten of wands ten of swords something ended here yeah four of wands king of pentacles when I t you want a relationship with them. I don't think you guys are speaking or on speaking terms or if you are the communication's not good or it may even be a level of spying. The Emperor and the Chariot. It's this says there's somebody who is unmovable. They want exactly what they want. This may be a person out for themselves. Six of Cups. Or maybe even a person that you have children with or you live with or you had a child with. This could be your energy, Virgo, or this could be someone you're dealing with. This is someone who does what they want. They, they make decisions based on what they desire and what they want. They could be this could be a spouse. They could have cheated in the past. They could be cheating now. You have two minds about whether to continue this this long standing relationship. You built so much together. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Seven of Cups. They make promises just to break them. They, you know, it's a sweet nothing. Yeah, justice at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, do I want to leave this situation because nothing has changed here? Let's get some advice for my birthdays. This seems like some of you are dealing with some people. Um, very calm energy. Um, you know that they haven't changed. You know that they won't change. A lot of this is, you know, the ball being in your court, Virgo. What are you going to do? Are you going to continue to put energy and effort and time into... A situation where you don't really want to be or are you going to go after what it is you desire what's the advice for the Virgo ten of ten of swords ten of air release allow this to end this is the ending this is as bad as it gets know that there's a new beginning after the ten of swords Three of fire. Yeah. Anticipate greatness. Anticipate what the energy that you spent in trying to make something stable. Know that your whatever is to come to you will come to you. Queen of fire. Be focused on what it is you desire, what it is you want. Again, the two of swords. You you still have two months. You won't make a decision. Now I feel like this is the Virgo. Make a decision in regards to what you're doing. Yeah, Ace of Ace of Air. So you get the Ten of Air, then the Ace of Air. Ending, new beginning. Make a decision so that you can move forward. Okay. Last cards of advice. Okay. Some of you with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there might be some opposing opinion in regards to your relationship. There's jealousy, there's rumor, there's talk. Because there's problems in this relationship, there's inequality. Maybe that's why you feel like you want to leave for fire. Yeah. You could have to make a final judgment call about this. Are you in or are you out completely? Queen of Earth and then the devil.
some of you it's about fear fear of the unknown fear of moving forward fear of of letting go of long standing dynamics long standing uh, institutions in your life whether it's a relationship hierophant and devil or it's a job you know I'm scared to change career because I've done this for so many years king of air at the bottom of the deck whoever you're dealing with there's not a lot of communication king and queen of air some of you are dealing with uh, definitely air signs are you coming up as one You need to get clear and final about what it is you, you really, really want or who you want. Before you can make any decision, any active decision, it looks like the Virgo needs to get clear in the mind. Because we have the Two of Swords coming up in almost every deck. It came up in three different decks. The Two of Swords. Okay, so we're going to close this out. Some butterfly oracle cards. And then we're going to clarify over at the website in regards to how the other person feels about this connection. Or, or what it could be. If this is career and finance for you. What this new endeavor or this new start or this change could be for you. Let's see. What should the Virgo be focused on moving forward? Religion and spirituality. So you need to get a bit of regimen in your life in regards to spirituality. What are you doing? What are you practicing daily that allows you to um, you know, be, be tuned in, tapped in spiritually, not just physically? Okay. Let's see. You are stronger than you know. Yeah, it just seems like there's a Virgo who the time, the effort is keeping you there. I put so much energy, time into this relationship, this marriage, this job. How could I leave? Why would I leave? What ha what happens next? Grief work. You, know, you, you might be a social worker, counselor, therapist, psychotherapist, whatever. Or you might just need to grieve a situation. We did see the Ten of Swords in two different decks. You might just need to understand that there's an ending to something in your life. Grieve, cry, be mad, be sad, be happy. Go through all the emotions. Know that there's support here for you. You might need to see a counselor or a therapist in regards to moving forward. Some of you may be suffering from postpartum. I don't know where that came from. Finances and adult children. be true to you all right so girl that's what we have right now um we're gonna go ahead and clarify at the website to see um how the other person is feeling about you let's go ahead and pull some cards and then we'll we'll talk about it at the website how does this other person feel about the virgo Ace of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Wands. So you both. Four of Wands. Okay. 
Five of Swords and Page of Wands. Okay. The bottom of the deck, the Star card. It's an Aquarius. I felt like you were dealing with Aquarius energy. So we're going to clarify. I want to explain these cards over the other side in regards to how this person feels about you. Um, okay, so Virgo, go ahead and purchase the extended reading if you feel like this reading resonated with you or for you. Um, the link is below. Thank you for tuning in. Go ahead and purchase your own personal reading too. So therefore, if you feel like this resonated, we can pull your own energy and see where you are in regards to moving forward. This person has really good feelings about the relationship, but they understand that um, you have to make a decision here. You have to choose them. They're choosing you, but they want you to choose them. Okay, so let's go to the other side and see. All right. Uh, all links are below to the website, to the extended read. Everything you'll find below. Everything you'll find at my website, too. Uh, take care. Virgo, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Bye.